You're watching Five News. Welcome back. It's been more than 60 years since the Second World War ended, but for survivors of the Nazi death camps, memories of the horrors of Auschwitz are still raw. Eva Neumann is one of those survivors. She lost her entire family there and now wants to ensure the world does not forget. Five's Jonathan Samuels was invited to follow Eva as she took a group of 100 Jewish youngsters to Auschwitz. It was hell. It was, there was no air, there was nothing to eat. There was, people were dying and the bodies were in the same place and, uh, and the buckets were in the same place and the sick were in the, it's not describable. The, the army, the Eva Newman is returning to Auschwitz. This was Eva, or Bobby as she's known, the first time she came here, moments after stepping off a cattle truck from Hungary. Tall and strong, the 15-year-old was picked to work rather than die. Bobby's here with a group of 100 Jewish youngsters all learning about the Holocaust. In 1944, Bobby lost her mother, father and brothers at Auschwitz. One day, while sorting clothes of dead Jews, she saw her grandmother in a queue for the gas chamber. And I went up to her, which was stupid of me. I mean, I could have been killed. And uh, the first thing she said, well, I haven't heard from Mummy, where is she? And to show you how, how oh. we didn't know what we were doing or saying, I said, don't worry, Grandma, you just go and you're going where she is. And they shut the door. I threw up. It wasn't. In one of the Auschwitz gas chambers, a new generation tries to capture echoes of the past. Little has changed here, from the holes in the roof where the gas dropped to the ovens used for cremation. Bobby lived in these barracks at Auschwitz-Birkenau for around nine months, the tiny space inside shared with a thousand other women. As you can imagine, conditions inside here were horrific. Bobby and her fellow prisoners slept on these beds, six people to each bunk. Now, in the summer, it was stiflingly hot, and in the winter, it was freezing cold, the only warmth coming from this tiny stove. Living in such squalor, Bobby remembers being grateful her family died quickly rather than suffering as she did. Thank God, and I said it every single day, because the situation was so bad, so that I'm only telling you that too. Have an idea how bad it was that you were happy that your mother wasn't alive. And after that, life started as normal, not quite, and took a long time, and eventually it was the end. It's the end of the line and the end of an emotional journey. Bobby was marched out of Auschwitz by the Nazis. She ended up at a makeshift camp in Germany before being liberated by the Russians. She recalls her father's last words to her. I went up to him and said, Daddy, what are these chimneys? And he said, never mind the chimneys, just you remember. Don't give up. And that's a very powerful word. The trip was arranged by an organisation called Ace UK, which helps Jewish young people understand their heritage. For Bobby, it's been an exhausting journey, but she hopes it's left a lasting impression with the young visitors. It's an important message. It's important that they should know, important they should go the right way. And there are other people to care about. And to realise that if you do care about other people, it's for your, for your advantage. Jonathan Samuels with that report there, and you can share your thoughts on the story by emailing him at the address on your screen now. Maybe you too have a wartime experience to share, or a story you want to tell us about. Jonathan would like to hear from you.